This tutorial is going to show you how to create this kind of 8-bit style pixelated text with an After Effects as well as this motion trail. This is a beginner tutorial. You do need to know your way around After Effects and you do know how to work keyframes and create an animation. Let's jump in. Alright, I'm inside of my composition. I've got my text layer here and I've got a very simple animation on it. First thing I'm going to do, effects and presets, I'm going to type in CC ball and grab this CC ball action and drop it onto my layer. So I'm going to adjust these numbers slightly. So these are the numbers that I have used. And then I'm going to come back to effects and presets and type in CC block and drop this CC block load onto my layer. It's disappeared and that's because completion is all the way down. So I'm going to bring this up to 23 and I'm going to raise the number of scans to 16. So if I switch ball action on and off, you can see that all it's done here is just kind of bolstered up my text slightly and kind of added a little bit of shading in as well. So this was a bit more of a stylistic choice for me. You can go one way or the other. Next I'm going to add that coloured trail effect that you saw. So to do this I am pretty lazy. I can't be bothered dealing with duplicating text and changing colours and all of that business. So I'm going to go to effects and presets and type in echo and drop this onto my layer. I'm actually going to drop it at the top of the stack and for now for just the moment the cc ball action and block load is going to cause us a few issues so just turn those off don't delete them uh, just turn them off and i'm going to change the number of echoes to a hundred then i'm going to bring the decay down to about halfway so i did it at 0 0.56 so you can see i've got this nice black and white trail it's fading all the way up to black and i'm doing this so that i can easily color it so i'm going to go to effects and presets and type in colorama grab this effect and drop it onto my layer. This is not what I want so I'm going to change the input phase from intensity to alpha and you can see straight away I've got this color change. So what is happening here basically on this output cycle we've got a bunch of colors for example I'll change this and where it was once red you will see blue so you can just be creative with that. So these are the colors that I ended up with and there I've got my nice colored trail without any duplicating or annoying changing of keyframes and all of that. So I'm going to turn my CC ball action back on now and my block load and we've got this lovely pixelated text. Next thing I'm just going to add that white stroke that you saw in my thumbnail and I don't want it to be on every instance of this echo I just want it on the top so to do this I'm just going to right click click on my text go to create shapes from text and then on my new shape layer I'm just going to select all of this switch off all the effects go to contents and in every one of my um, letters I'm just going to switch the fill off I'll just speed through this then on every letter I'm just going to select the stroke I'm going to hold down control and select stroke on each one then I'm going to drop into this one, change the color to white and you'll see no changes and that's because I'm just going to change the stroke width to 5 and since everything was selected it's done it all at once. Then I'm just going to come to my layer again, just select this and just turn on the CC block load and I'll just switch my layer back on underneath. There you have it, make sure to check out this video right here to see what else you can do with an After Effects. See you in the next one, bye! Thank you.